In 2003, the largest reef in the Baltic Sea was built at the Nienhagen location, 1.5 kilometers off the coast in 12 meters water depth. The present result of investigations highlighted spectacularly the success of the project. The objective, a higher fishery value at the reef, was achieved. Double the number of young cod was detected around the structures as in naturally structured water areas. This is attributed to the extensive food supply on the 18,000 square meters of additionally created growth surfaces and the various possibilities for shelter and hiding in the reef structures. In order to support these claims, a range of new research approaches have been incorporated into the project, alongside the established monitoring programs. The artificial elements have not only influenced the biodiversity of the coastal habitat, but also influenced the current conditions predominant in this area. The changes to hydrodynamics and seabed topography caused by this have a strong influence on the flows of particles and larvae. So, the current investigations play a substantial role in understanding the processes that control growth and settlement around the reef elements. In order to determine the ecological potential of an artificial reef, investigations are carried out which further highlight growth on the elements and the resulting fish behavior. The natural food chain begins with plankton, consisting of various algae and small animals further is ingested by mussels fixed on the reef elements. Excretions from the mussels are then again consumed by thousands of small crustaceans, bristleworms and gobies. These attract big fish, mainly cod. There's an idea that has developed in conjunction with the growth investigations and observations to produce natural food for an environment-friendly, sustainable young fish aquaculture by using and controlling the existing food chain. The basis of the fishery investigations is the monthly fishing at the reef structures and reference areas. Species identification and quantitative comparisons play a significant role here. Alongside population investigations involving age determination and stomach content analysis for the most economically interesting fish at the reef, cod, also tagging experiments have been carried out. Recapture rates between 15 and 20 percent indicate a cod population that is local or at least has a longer duration of stay on the reef structures. This assumption is strengthened by the most frequent recapture on the reef and nearby. Some cod have been captured up to four times. In subsequent years, investigations, which up to now have been based on the use of passive tags, are to be extended by the use of active sensors. A new research platform offers the opportunity to evaluate investigations at the platform and without any time delay. The platform is situated at the center of the reef on pile foundations. Alternative energy sources provide the platform with electricity. The 40 square meter platform is equipped, among other things, with a research laboratory for carrying out scientific investigations. Underwater camera pictures are transferred via cable to the research laboratory and saved or processed there. The signal is sent via radio from the platform to Warnemünde, where it is then uploaded to the Internet and can be watched live on the website www.riff-nienhagen.de. On the 5th of November 2009, a second reef was installed two kilometers off the coast of Rosenort in water depths of six meters. This is with 30 by 40 meters, 86 concrete elements and 160 tons of natural stone significantly smaller than the Nienhagen Reef. The same investigation methods are also used here to document the possible positive effects of artificial hard substrates on spoil ground and ocean dumping locations. Tried and tested underwater observation techniques and a fixed transmitter mast are used here as well. Pictures are likewise uploaded to the Reef website. Alongside live pictures, all current work, information and reports of the working groups are presented here. The aim is to bring the scientifically valuable findings to public attention.
A sustainable use of the reef structures and research findings forms the basis for raising awareness of the Baltic Sea ecosystem with all people in the surrounding countries. The linking of science, education, the economy and tourism in harmony with nature is of the highest importance for the state of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. This is our vision of sustainable use.